Today we are going to give me an existential crisis playing the reread, rewrite, and burn tag. So I have a cup here full of my five star, my favorite romanticy books. I'll be picking out three randomly and then I'll have to choose out of those three which ones I would like to reread, which one I would like to rewrite, and which one I would like to burn. And if I'm being honest, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm really not ready. Oh my gosh. Okay, one fell out. A Duel with the Vampire Lord by Elise Kova, The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen, and Broken Bonds by Jay Bree. There are a few in this pot that aren't five stars, that they're just four stars that I recommend all the time, that I think fondly of, that I think probably could have been five stars. And all three of these are four star reads for me, which makes this impossibly tough. I was hoping we'd get some four stars with some five stars so I could burn them. Um, this is hard. What did I get? Um, um, the Bridge Kingdom is one of my babies, so I think I'm going to reread it. Mostly just because I've been thinking about rereading it. It's been a series in my head being like, should I reread that? And maybe this is a sign. It follows a woman who is in an arranged marriage, but she wants to kill the prince of that land. I think I'm gonna rewrite A Duel with the Vampire Lord. I love this book. I think this book has such great characters. And I'm gonna burn Broken Bonds. That feels wrong. That feels really wrong. I have to though. Like, I, I don't think I can burn A Duel with the Vampire Lord or A Bridge Kingdom. I'm so sorry, but Broken Bonds has to be burned. I mean, it's a five book long series and none of them were five stars for me. So like, it had a more opportunity than the other two to become five stars. Okay, on to the next one because I don't wanna think about this anymore. The Kindred's Curse Saga, A Court This Cruel and Lovely, Fourth Wing. <laughs> These three. Um, it's an easy cop out, so I'm. I'm gonna burn a court this cruel and lovely because I gave it a four star and I gave both of these. I didn't give Spark the Everflame five stars. Oh no, I lied. I gave it three stars. But books two and three were five stars, and that's why it's on the list as the Kindred's Curse Saga and not Spark of the Everflame. Because I didn't love book one, but I love book two and three so much. I still I'm still burning a court this cruel and lovely. I gave this book four stars and the rest of them three stars. I love this series. It's a lot of fun and I really recommend it because it's just like a good time. You're gonna giggle the entire time. I loved the audiobooks. But we're burning it. We're burning it. So sorry, I'm so sorry. We're rereading Fourth Wing because I've never experienced the like pure adrenaline. I need to keep flipping the pages like I did in Fourth Wing. Like this book did something to me. It changed some kind of chemical in my body that made me not be able to put it down. I stayed up to like 5 a.m. reading it. So we are rereading it because I'd love to experience that again. We are rewriting Spark the Everflame because I gave the first book three stars and the next two five stars. I just think that this could get a rewrite. Um, This didn't break my soul as much as I thought it would, which means there's more coming that are going to be hard. Air Awakens by Elise Kova. I should read more from her. The Veiled Kingdom, The Crown of Oaths and Curses. These three. Um, I give this one five stars. I give this one five stars. I give this one four stars. Does that automatically mean I burn this? But it's so fun. Uh, a lot of my four stars are just fun reads. And so it's really hard because like I think of them so fondly because I had so much fun reading them. But like my five stars just have a little bit more substance in them. The Veiled Kingdom follows a princess who is not treated very well by the king. So she escapes and she ends up escaping into the rebellion. And she can't tell them she's the princess because they'll use her against him and she doesn't want that. But people are slowly starting to figure out who she is. This is so fun. Enemies to lovers, hate to love, so much good banter, so much good smut. But I am burning this. I just can't burn either of my my two five stars when this was in my selection. This is so funny because this is such a short book and this is so chonky. Ah, gut reaction. I'm rereading Air Awakens. This entire series was amazing. I did not give book one of this five stars. I lied. Oh, the Veiled Kingdom. I give a lot of the series five star, but I give the first book four stars. I'm still burning the Veiled Kingdom though. Yeah, I'm still burning the Veiled Kingdom, but I'm rereading Air Awakens. I really loved this series. It's a fun YA series, um, elemental magic. We follow a girl who is the first wind magic user in a long time and what that means for her and what she becomes for the army and one of the princes. I'm rereading this. I'm rewriting The Crown of Oaths and Curses. I loved this, gave it five stars, ate up every second of it. So I don't really want to say I'm rewriting this, but I am. I am. I just, I have to, I have to pick, I have to. I mean, this definitely could have used some edits. So like I could probably say I would rewrite it, but like I loved it. I could have read a hundred more pages, a thousand more pages of this, just this book. Ugh, yum. I think they're just getting harder and harder. House of Bane and Blood, The Everseas, <laughs> A Court of Silver Flames. <gasps> 
Oh, God. I can't. Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. I have to reread A House of Bane and Blood. I cannot do this book an injustice saying anything else. It is one of the most perfectly crafted books, but also A Court of Silver Flames is the best mental health representation book I've ever read. How do I say I'm gonna rewrite that? How do I burn that? I feel like I have to burn it so that I don't say I'm gonna rewrite it because like who would rewrite that perfection? Oh my god. I'm rereading A House of Bane and Blood. I'm rewriting A Court of Silver Flames and I'm so sorry but I'm burning the ever seas. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I loved, loved this duology. How can I do it to it? I have to though. I mean, at least this whole book is surrounded by water, so maybe the flames will go out really quickly and I'll still be able to reread bits and pieces of it and it'll just be missing pieces of paper from the fire because it's a book about water. That made no sense at all. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> so, so sorry. You were just up against tough books. <laughs> Red Queen, Heartless Hunter, Powerless. Those are all my favorite YAs. How did that happen? This is hard. I cannot pick. I retire. I give up. Booktube ending my career right here, having to pick between these three. They're all so fun. They're all YA. Like if they had gone up against some of my adult favorites, I think it would have been easier, but I don't know if I can pick between these three. The Red Queen series holds such a special place in my heart. I love Maven and I know that's kind of a hot take but like what Victoria Avery does for his character is some of my favorite character work I've ever read and I loved the story I binged the series so fast Heartless Hunter I had so much fun with and Powerless is like the most surprising five star I've ever had like I didn't think I would love it and I just loved it and it was so giddy um I have to reread the Red Queen series. It's just such a staple of my life and my reading that I I don't know where I would be reading wise without this. Even though I did not read it as a kid, I actually read it at the beginning of my booktube career as an adult. It just really cemented what I loved in books. I'm burning Heartless Hunter, I think because it's a four star and because it just didn't get enough time. Like this has four books that I loved and character work that I loved. I think that this one just doesn't live up to that. And then Powerless, I will rewrite. I think Powerless is so fun and such a good vibe. I'm not sure rewriting it would be good for the book because I think you might ruin some of the magic. However, I can't burn it because I, I love that book. It just, it makes me smile. Uh, so I'm so sorry, Heartless Hunter, which is such an incredible book. If you're looking for a spooky book to read during fall that's like not spooky, this is about a witch and a witch hunter. So I feel like it fits the fall romancy vibes quite well. I suggest all three of these YAs. They're so good. Oh, <laughs> The Crowns of Nyaxia series. Quicksilver slaying the Shadow Prince. I can't. A moment of justice for whatever book I have to burn because none of these deserve to be burned. Ugh, why are we burning things at the stake? It's unfair. Die my life. It's an easy reread because The Serpent in the Wings of Night is my all time favorite romanticy. I dream about this book. It's so unique. It really just like made me fall in love with romanticy again and like sparked my interest, made my channel what it is because without this book, I would have still, I probably wouldn't have picked up a lot of these books without like falling in love with The Serpent in the Wings of Night. This series can do no wrong in my heart. So I will be rereading because I cannot touch this. I cannot rewrite it. I cannot burn it. There's no possible way. Now I don't know what to do. Hot take here. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna rewrite quick silver and I'm gonna burn slaying the shadow prince but only because this book is pure perfection that I cannot rewrite it there's not a single part of me that wants to change anything in this book like rewriting it feels ruder than burning it like I'm burning it because it's so perfect like the smut the storyline the characters the romance this is a perfect romanticy to me I cannot rewrite it so we're burning it which leads quicksilver to being rewritten which I think quicksilver could use a little bit more like tweaking on some of the romance that's kind of what fell flat for me me on this even though I still gave it five stars and I loved it and it's incredible and it's amazing but yeah we are rewriting this one even though like tier ranking I did love slaying the shadow prince just a little bit better than quicksilver just a little bit a little, little bit they're all five stars this tag is mean <laughs> my soul feels damaged I'll leave my top 10 non fey favorite romanticy on the screen for you to go check out. Lots of these are on that list, but I go more into depth in what is my favorite and stuff. And if you'd like to leave me an emoji just to say you were here, leave me a fire emoji and have yourselves an absolutely remarkable day. Unlike me, who's gonna go cry myself to sleep now. I'm so sorry to all the books I burned.